Good morning guys, it's the next day. It's actually nearly 11 a.m. We woke up, well, Keegan woke up and went and got us coffee and pastries, which we ate in the window in the lounge, which was lovely. Um, but I didn't film much from last night because my camera died. So I've got two fully charged batteries for today. So we've got some exciting plans for today. However, thought I'd just give a rundown of Queens. Oops. <laughs> Queens was so, so good. I didn't really know what to expect. I just knew it was drag queens singing, but oh my gosh, they were all absolutely incredible. Their voices, I just, I've never, even going to see, it was very similar to Six the Musical in its style of like sing-offs, but obviously Six the Musical has women. I don't think there's any like <laughs> drag queens in Six the Musical, but I think their voices were better than any of the women I've heard in Six the Musical. Like. And that's incredible because they're men singing and I've never heard men with voices as incredible as in Queens. So, definitely go and watch Queens. They're going on tour around the UK. Um, I think Keegan and I are going to go and try and see them again at some stage. But yeah, loved it. Keegan? Yes, dear. Get in here. Oh, so many. The people want to know what did you think about Queens? Oh, fabulous. Enjoyed it? Anything else to say other than that? Uh, go watch it. It was very, very good. Who was uh, your fave? Uh, the girl with the white costume on. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't like. There was one with a big hat. Oh yeah, she was calm. She had a pin strike. Do you know what? Every time they started singing, I'd be like, oh, that one's got the best voice. And then the next one would sing, I'm like, oh no, she's got the best voice. And was, like, they were all just so, there was no one that you were like, oh, they're the weak link. It was, it was nice at the end as well. Mm. They, did the, um, they were talking about people, tra like rights, gay oh, rights, yeah. trans rights, mm. why it's important. Yeah. Quality and all that. So it wasn't just uh, frivolity. Yeah. Well, there was, a, there was some substance to it, which is nice. Yeah. It's easy to get caught with. Definitely. So, I agree. Go watch it. Go watch it. Well, we started easy with one show yesterday. I think we've got three or four shows booked today. But before that, we're off to go to Holy Rood Castle Holy or Rood, something. Yeah. Holy Rood. I thought it was Holy Rood. But you'll see that as we go along. That is Arthur's seat. You can't really see. The exposure's not very good, but it is a massive rock. Oh, a cafe. <laughs> First stop is always a cafe. Just interrupting this vlog to say that obviously, this probably goes without saying that this video was filmed way before the Queen passed away. So now editing this video back, it just feels really poignant because this is her official residence in Scotland. And after she passed, her coffin did spend some time at Holyrood. So it's very sad watching this back. Uh, but just a disclaimer, because I thought there might be some confused comments. We have just arrived at Holyrood House. I have no idea, oh, sorry, Holyrood Palace. I have no idea what this is. I've got an audio guide, so I will be learning at the same time as you guys. I'll relay some information to try and tell you a bit about it. Something to do with the Queen. I don't know if the Queen ever comes here or whatever, but I'm sure she does, but I will let you know.
tour. That was good. I like that. See, that was very thorough. If, if you've seen the video before this of us going to Harewood House and I was like, there was no information. This was the opposite. Information overload. This comes included in ticket price and it's a touch screen. So they, they show you different images and things on there. Love it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was very good. They didn't tell you about King James being gay, did they? They didn't. They left that out. Mm -hmm. Keegan showed me Google because he quickly Googled King James and it says that he was the most prominent homosexual in history. Of the early modern era. Oh. He, he, he commissioned the King James Bible. Yeah. Wow. Coming somewhere like this, it's really easy to see why the Queen does not like Buckingham Palace. Apparently she's rumoured to have said that Buckingham Palace is the least favourite of all the royal palaces. And no wonder, because you're surrounded by Arthur's seat over there. This one's got a lovely abbey, there's rolling countryside. Like, no wonder she prefers Balmoral, which this is not Balmoral, but Balmoral's not too far from here. And the more rural palaces, because the one in Buckingham Palace is just like in the middle of London. Now after a long tour of the house, lemon cake, scone, oat flat whites. Really nice setting for tea and cake. Just stop for a little refresher at the pub. Sitting in between some cool brick walls. So we've just arrived for lunch at the Scotsman, the Grand Cafe at the Scotsman. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. After this, we are nipping straight to our first show of the day, which is all about LGBTQ plus sports, which is right up Keegan Street, because he is an LGBTQ plus sports man. Um, and then after that, we're going to Spontaneous Potter, which we are so excited for. Um, I love that you said we are so excited for. Well, I was going to say I am, but then I didn't want people to go, oh, Joel's dragging Keegan's Harry Potter, because Keegan also really I likes Harry Potter. like Harry Potter. Potter. Thank you. But you're yeah. more excited than yeah. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be awful, but I've heard really good things. Um, and then we've got a couple more shows later tonight as well. So it's, our last show is at 10.40, so we won't be done until nearly midnight. We're crazy. You turn to a pumpkin, don't you, after uh, midnight? Yeah, I have to go to bed at 11. Joel's nickname is Cinderella. <laughs> the pumpkin. <laughs> Cinders. <laughs> what is this? A watermelon spritz. Watermelon, gin, watermelon. Gin and bubbles. I don't know what the bubbles, oh, bubbles. are. Bubbles. Just carbon dioxide or champagne? So do I. Oh. <laughs> You've got no watermelon in that. Saved it all for you. Oh, thanks, babe. That was very quick. I've got a Caesar salad complete with pink eggs. Fantastic. I've got a deep fried onion. Deep fried onion burger. Lovely. Right, we've come to Scran, a cocktail bar, and uh, look, I've gone for an espresso teeny, which I think is an espresso martini. And you've gone for a gay drink. I always get the gay drink. You do, don't you? He always goes for the pinkest, sweetest. I don't know he's going to be pinkest. It's like me. He is pink and sweet on the inside. Um, whereas this is me, boring and beige. But I'm happy with that. I'm happy to be basic. I'm getting this because I need to stay awake until midnight tonight. Is it? Can I try it? No. <laughs> Trying it anyway. Oh my gosh, that is nice. The, the waiter recommended that cocktail and I looked at it and thought, not for me. That's actually really good. So. <laughs> First show of the day, the Equalizer. I'm gonna put the camera away now because I'm embarrassed. It's about gay people in sport. But comedy. <laughs> but comedy, but funny. But lol. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? Are you Instagramming it now? I'm gonna tweet him and yeah, it was very good. Yeah, he recognised Keegan, obviously, which I said it would, before we saw the show that it would be embarrassing. I think it's this way. It would be embarrassing if he didn't, considering the show is all about LGBTQ plus sport. Considering Keegan is the first gay rugby league player, or openly gay, we should say. There's probably <laughs> lots of closeted ones. So I was like, it would be weird if he didn't. And then when we walked in, he was like, Keegan. So Keegan, so. That was good. I think he, he was really pleased that you were there, which was great. Yeah. But yeah, he was very funny, and I don't like sport, and I don't relate to it, but I still found it funny. So, yeah, that's sign of a good show. Anyway, we've got 30 minutes now until Harry Potter, now. Harry Potter which I'm buzzing for. Um, so yeah, we'll go and do that.
this is literally what the fringe is about guys rushing from show to show some like really you know commercialized shows some less polished shows or free shows even um, it's only our second show but we've got three more left to do today and it's already 4 30 in the evening so Evening. Yeah. It's 4 30 the evening. It's afternoon, 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 late afternoon. 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 He's so northern. Like, afternoon. We still need a battered Mars bar. Need. Need. <laughs> need. <laughs> so I believe it's in this building, the Gilded Balloon, which I don't know what it is when it's not the fringe. I think this is part of the university. We came here yesterday, had a little drink in there. Yeah, I think there's a few different venues in here including Spontaneous Potter. I cannot wait. Lots of the shows so far have encouraged people to be filming the show, so it's not very like the West End where it's like, don't film, so I'll see if I can film a bit, but I, for some reason, feel like this Potter one is gonna be like no filming whatsoever, so I'll see what I can do. Right, we've arrived at the Gilded Balloon. You've gone for a beer. Or is it cider? Cider. I'm not. I've gone for a peach GMT. You are, my should we? Yeah, we'll sit there. Me? Should we sit on the piano? <laughs> Let's <laughs> be the intention scene. Yes. That we are. I mean, you do play piano, so you could bust out a tune. But we're going to sit by the window over here. I feel like the good thing about me getting drunk is that I don't care about people watching me vlog. The amount of people that stare at you like you're mad. I don't care. Guys, we um, finished it and... Uh, Joel, give us your review. It was very clever. Did you, was it funny, Joel? <laughs> Did you enjoy it, Joel? Uh, 15 you... minutes. It was fine, it was just, I said it, it was, was clever. Said they, it was were, they were obviously very talented what they did. They're very quick-witted and everything, but... I didn't find it that funny and we both said actually, I said after about 38 minutes, I was like, okay, I'm bored now. And you said the same. specifically. About 38 <laughs> on the dot. Um, so I'm, yeah, I am disappointed. I really wanted to like it. Um, and it was, there were moments that were funny, but I was just like, I'm it done now. I'm wearing a silk shirt. Though. That must, can't, not very breathable, is it? No. Silk is <laughs> Right, let's go get some food and go to the loo before our next show. So we got a couple of gyros. I got a spicy chicken one. Look, there's chips in it. That is incredible. It looks so good. And you, I went for spicy, you went for non-spicy. Very nice. Well deserved. We've sat through a few shows today. This is deserved. We have come out of two shows now. We actually mixed up our shows. So we had two booked, three booked for this evening. Um, and we've only made one of the original ones. Uh, and then we booked Another two? Am I? We missed two. Yeah, we missed the Nikki one and the. Yeah, Nikki Britain we booked. And we missed one. it. So and we were the, to be a three. Yeah, and we made a last minute booking for Simon, Simon Brodkin. Brodkin, who was brilliant. We just came out of his show. Very good. You're, yeah, Keegan's recommend. I had no idea, no idea who he was. He's like a political prankster, but he's very funny. Yeah, very very really clever. Enjoyed the show. But before that, we went to see my internet friend mutually follow each other on social media and he got us tickets to his show, Larry, Larry Dean. Listen mate, right, I don't mind the gays. I'm thinking, yeah, of course you don't, you're hate Bob and you'd be welcome in my community. <laughs> and he was really, really good. Really good. Really um, good. Both of those shows were very, very good. Yeah, it was heartwarming, hilarious, funny, like, loved it. So we've seen some really good shows this evening, especially after the Harry Potter one, which was not great. So I'm really pleased with that. And also your choice. I know, exactly. But we've had some hits and misses, and it's not over. We've still got and tomorrow. That's the thing of the fringe, apparently, oh, isn't exactly. it? Exactly, you're learning. You can't. I'm so Edinburgh now. You're so Edinburgh. You're going to go home, and all your friends will be like, what? What's the fringe like? And you'll be like, you wouldn't get it. You wouldn't get you it. You're not a get fringe it. person. <laughs> I, they call me Keegan the fringe here. Huh? Keegan. <laughs> <laughs> They call you that anyway. First thing in the morning. With a little curl. <laughs> anyway, we are now just having a cider. Even though this does not agree with me. And that is all. I need to message Larry now to say sorry I didn't see you after the show. We had to rush off. We we're literally running up the street, sweating. Luckily there was two yeah, seats. She almost there. didn't let us in there. Yeah. I know. 
Anyway, over and out. And that is the end of vlog two in Edinburgh. I believe there's going to be one more. I think I've got enough footage to squeeze out one more vlog. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like because it really helps me out and it's quite free. Please subscribe as well if you haven't already. There's plenty more videos to come. And if you do want to become a member, if you want extra bonus members only content, then I have lots of members only videos as well as members only live streams every month. So check that out. That's the join button next to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.